Rappers do the darnest things. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. You're gonna, you know, might go to jail, might start a clothing line, might start a water bottle in line. Don't put them in a box. Rappers do the darnest things. Such as the story of Andre Johnson, or as some refer to him as Christ Bearer. Talk about shock value. Woo, I know the guys at Fox News don't like that one. Christ Bearer, don't you use God's name in vain, boy. They're saying they don't know if this guy was high or not. In fact, I think they said, according to my reports, I see nothing about drugs being in this guy's system. Jumps off a balcony, climbs up on the second floor balcony, cuts off his penis, and then jumps. The cutting off of the penis, definitely not something I would uh, ever consider doing. Hopefully you guys feel the same about that. But if you were going to do that, ah, um, you got to jump off a building higher than, you, you, the second floor ain't going to get it done, buddy. So anyway, he said he hit the ground, he was running around, and then he collapsed. When they came to get him, he was on the ground crying, bleeding, obviously. Now, they took him to Mount Sinai Hospital where he was in critical condition, and they said they tried to attach his penis but were unsuccessful. Now, look, there's a couple things with this story that are very telling. One is, I never heard of Christ Bearer or North Star, which is the group he's from, and he's 40 and he's still rapping. So, that's one reason why I can see maybe he's not on drugs. Maybe he just said, you know, fuck it, time to commit suicide. And two, Wu-Tang Clan says he has no affiliation with them, but in his video and in this picture, he's wearing Wu-Tang gear and he's RZA found him, which is one of the founding members of the Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. And, um, which is sad. In fact, the Wu-Tang Clan is really trying to distance himself from this guy, Andre Johnson, and they had this to say. Parental advisory. Don't believe the hype. This motherfucker ain't got shit to do with the Wu-Tang brand. Ooh. With friends like this, who needs enemies? Speedy recovery or not, I don't know. I don't think Andre Johnson, Andre Johnson would prefer not to recover. At least I know I wouldn't. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call dumb news.